a pile of bones up here. Do what now? Is that bones or is that? No, it's not. That's a piece of cardboard or tin or something. It's plastic. Right there under that stump. Could you pull that out if you have a tractor and clean it up, or is it? You could. I, you know, when you're this far in here, unless you piss your neighbors off and they call DNR or something on you, you can pretty much do what you want. Because you're not, it's not like you're right across the creek from Waterford or somebody that's going to constantly be raising hell with you. That's why, like if that guy, whether he really has easement or not, not saying nothing about him coming in, if he helps kind of maintain the road a little bit, is you're better off. You know. Well, they'd have to disclose all them easements and stuff. Yeah, they would. It'd be in the, be in the stuff. So this is kind of the way this stuff is channeled like that. Most of the time, which this is bottom flatland, so I guess maybe it just naturally happened. But a lot of times, that's where they've dug out trying to mine anything. But I don't know if Two Run Creek was ever known to have gold in it or not. That's dead. Watch it. It will push over. And you'll sink. Yeah, that's, I noticed that down yonder too. And that's a pretty hole. If it stays, it would. If it stays cold enough during the summer, you could have some nice pet trout in here.